Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm very excited because number one, the Anatons Kickstarter will officially be live when this video goes up. And number two, because this video is being worked on in tandem with Bolo, one of the Anatons developers. And I have some exclusive information regarding the starters and their evolutions. By that I'm talking about some Anapedia descriptions, the Anatons equivalent to the Pokedex. That being said, I've been really looking forward to this Kickstarter going live because if you haven't seen it already, I sort of helped out a little bit with the gameplay trailer and some of the other behind the scenes stuff. And I think this is gonna be one of those games that really helps to find the monster taming genre as a whole. Anyways, with all of that out of the way, sit back, relax, and let's check out some starters. Now, Anaton's uh, starters are quite interesting in that the final forms are actually part of a branched evolution, branching between a defensive evolution or an offensive evolution, which we'll talk about a bit more later. Now, that being said, in terms of types, the starters are your typical water, grass, fire type deal, or I guess in this case, you got water, nature, fire. The game also features an over-the-shoulder, almost third-person shooter style of combat, so some of the designs we go over will actually reflect this. You'll see what I mean in a bit, but Anyways, the first starter we're going to be talking about is Panji, the nature type. Now, Panji and subsequently its evolutions are said to have been endangered so much that they were on the brink of extinction at one point. Now, this actually draws some parallels to the giant panda species that was once considered to be endangered, but are now considered a vulnerable species, which I guess is an upgrade. It uses this bamboo stick as a weapon, and I'm assuming it also doubles down as a meal should it get hungry. At some point, your Panji is going to evolve, and said evolution will result in Pangros. Now, Pangros are generally pretty lethargic. They enjoy eating bamboo, you know, all the time, all day, and nothing else. Luckily for them though, they do have an innate green thumb allowing them to sort of grow bamboo throughout their habitat. They're pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. And honestly, I feel like he'd be a great dude to do some, uh, I don't know, Netflix and chill with. He's just, he's just chilling, man. He just wants to hang out. Okay, now by some means, and I'm not exactly too sure how this will work out, but you'll have the ability to evolve it either to its defensive evolution or its offensive evolution. Now, its offensive form is here to offend as it's carrying a machine gun. Now, if you are watching this after viewing the Kickstarter, then you'll know that Anatons features a sort of over the shoulder shooter kind of combat like I stated. So this actually does make sense from that perspective. And it's also kind of funny because usually I hate monsters that come with items, but I'm actually kind of vibing with this guy. It's almost like in that camp where it's so weird that it just works, like Machamp having a belt or Sock having a gi, you just kind of accept it. I feel like he's gonna be a lot of fun to play with. <laughs> Anyways, according to its Anapedia entry, it states that Pangeros here is extremely hostile to those that aren't its trainer. So it's got a gun and uh, it's about to turn you into Swiss cheese if it doesn't like you. So what's not to love? Anyways, if uh, machine guns aren't your thing and you want to go the more defensive route, its defensive evolution, who's currently unnamed, is this quadruped with this type of leaf shield on its back and it's stated to be the exact opposite of its counterpart in that it's extremely calm. Interestingly, it uses the leaf on its back to cover itself from the moonlight as it doesn't like it very much. So this defensive form almost seems like the natural progression to its pre-evolution. You know, you keep it lazy and it just grows up to be more lazy or you, I don't know, throw it in the military and it comes home with a machine gun, so choose wisely. All right, so the water type low seal is said to be commonly kept by farmers to provide a drizzle that speeds up the growth of crops. And we do know that based on the gameplay of Anatons, this is an actual mechanic tied to the water type as well. Low seal sort of gives me those Loch Ness monster vibes and you'll see that sort of trait that makes a generational skip in a bit. Warless is its middle stage and sort of seems to take that Loch Ness monster trope and mixes it with a walrus. It's said to have uh, some sort of strange ability involving making it rain. It's said that when weather is predicted to be sunny, yet it rains anyways, Warless is likely nearby. Its defensive evolution is Warlord, a natural progression to its middle stage. Now, Warlord is said to be a dangerous Anaton. They travel in packs and prey upon wandering travelers who tread too close to the sea. What happens next is unknown. Its large fins clearly depict its defensive capabilities. However, interestingly, its anapia Media entry seems to point towards it being quite aggressive unlike what we saw with the previous defensive evolution. Now if you do decide to go the offensive route, and this is currently the only alternate form to the starter evolutions that does have an official name, you'll get a plusness, which is really interesting because it seems to keep that sort of stylistic choice that the base form was going with in regards to the Loch Ness monster. That's sort of what I was talking about when I mentioned a generational skip. Anyways, 
plusness are actually quite pleasing creatures as they oftentimes are met by sailors out in the open seas. Analysts don't really know why, but perhaps plusness just wants to make some friends. It'll definitely be fun to use plusness to traverse the waters, that's for sure. Okay, so last but certainly not least is the fire type starter line, which is my personal favorite and starts with Rhinic. Now, Rhinic are said to be quite useful, especially in the winter. Even without using its fire abilities, it's warm enough to heat up people's homes even in the coldest of nights. I'm sure Rhinic are more than happy to act as living radiators, provided they're fed well. Now, Rhinic evolves into Volhino, another classic design if I do say so myself. Volhino are actually very interesting in that they have the ability to melt iron with their flames and are oftentimes utilized by various smiths. Because of this, they're generally more utilized as weapon crafters rather than fighters. Now, on a side note, I do think the idea of having an Anaton that's creating swords is kind of badass. Its defensive evolution, much like the nature type, becomes a quadruped, which then takes the heat up a notch to an even greater level. This unnamed evolution has skin so hard that it protects it from all types of heat, and it in turn allows it to live within the volcanic wastelands as well. Its skin is seemingly impenetrable in that it has no issue falling atop sharp rocks and other seemingly deadly materials and yet manages to destroy its surroundings rather than the vice versa. It enjoys its food charred to a coal-like state. Now finally last, and I emphasize certainly not least, is my personal favorite Anaton of the bunch and that's Explino. Now Explino are said to possess an unstable amount of raw power and heat. Their unpredictable nature does not help with this situation either, making it very dangerous to tame this monster. If Explino does find a capable tamer, however, it can be seen using its palms to generate more power, heat, and energy than that of a jet engine. I can imagine given its immense power versus its counterpart's immense defense, it sort of creates that irresistible force paradox where you kind of have to compare an unstoppable force versus an immovable object. So yeah guys, that was every Anaton starter and subsequently their evolutions. I think that Anatons provides us with a very unique concept given, like I've stated already, the third person sort of shooting aspect of the combat, mixed with the more farming and raising elements we see in other games. If you are interested in this project, I highly recommend checking out their Kickstarter which just went live today and consider backing it. Also, if you are a fan of my channel, you might want to check out that gameplay trailer that was recently uploaded. You might notice something a little, uh... A little familiar in that video. So yeah guys, if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at GymLeaderEd. Check out my Patreon and subscriber Discord, all links in the description. Until next time, peace.